Hello everyone, welcome back to my chem corner. So in today's video, we're going to do question number 11.18 from alcohols, phenols and ether. So this question says, explain the following with an example. There are some reactions given here and you need to explain those reactions using an example and not a general equation. So the first one here is coal base reaction. So for coal base reaction, you need phenol. All right, it's a name reaction so you need phenol which will react with NaOH now when it reacts with NaOH it will replace the hydrogen and the sodium atom will sit in its place so you will have ONA now this molecule is called as sodium phenoxide <laughs> Alright, why is it called phenoxide? This has oxygen as a negative charge and this has a positive charge. So because it was phenol and that oxygen had a negative charge, it's called phenoxide. What is bonded to it is a sodium, therefore it's called sodium phenoxide. Now this further will react with carbon dioxide in the presence of an acid to form OH here and in the ortho position the COOH. COH is coming from the carbon dioxide and the acid and here excess of acid will replace the sodium also. Now this in common is called as salicylic acid. So this is your cool base reaction preparation of salicylic acid. Now the second one is Riemann-Riemann reaction commonly used to name reaction from the chapter. So for this the first one is again this is all going to be reactions of phenol. So I'm going to take a phenol. I'm going to treat this with chloroform plus aqueous NaOH. Now NaOH serves the same purpose as you did in the previous reaction. So here what happens is you will have ONA. All right. And in the ortho position, this part, ortho part of this benzene ring contains a hydrogen. That hydrogen will move out with one of the chlorine atoms. The remaining part of the molecule here will attach to this group. So this will become CHCl2. Now this is going to be one of the intermediate. So we are going to put them in brackets. And then further, this will react with more NaOH. And here what happens is your CHCl2 group will undergo oxidation. So here you will form ONA and an aldehydic group. Now the last one is of course the ONA needs to change so that will react with more acid and you will form OH and a CHO. Now in ortho position when compared to the previous one you had a carboxylic group in this you have an aldehydic group. So this is called as salicylaldehyde. Alright, so this is the preparation of salicylaldehyde. Next one is Williamson's ether synthesis. So here for Williamson's ether synthesis, I'm just going to take say a CH3 ONA with this sodium. Only one group of carbon is there, so it's called methoxide. plus an alkyl halide now what happens here this is having a negative charge here sodium is positive in this case this will have negative and this will have positive so let's interchange them and you get ch3 o ch3 plus NaCl. so what have you formed here you have got a dimethyl ether Alright, so you need a sodium methoxide and it, uh, some, some alkoxide reacting with alkyl halide to form dimethyl ether. Now, in this, the fourth question is you need to form an unsymmetrical uh, ether. So, unsymmetrical ether basically means on one side of this, on one side of the ether, you need to have a CH3. On the other side of the ether, you need to have a different alkyl group. That is what an unsymmetrical ether means. This can be easily prepared by the same Williamson's ether synthesis method. You can take same CH3 
OMA plus I can change the alkyl halide to CH3, CH2, Cl. When this reacts, this part of the ethyl group will bond to the oxygen to give you your, uh, on one side you have an ethyl group, on the other side you have methyl group. Alright, so you have unsymmetrical ether here. So this one can be a preparation here. So this name of this can be ethyl methyl ether all right so these are your reactions for the question 11.18 uh, where you're supposed to write about different equations